Canadians are among the most frequent users of emergency rooms in the world, making roughly 17 million visits a year. One of the busiest ERs in the country is in Brampton, Ontario. The Brampton Civic Hospital emergency was built for 90,000 patients. Currently, we're seeing about 130,000 patients a year, uh, which is about 360 to 400 patients a day. Dr. Naveed Mohammed and his colleagues see everything from heart attacks and car accidents to cuts and colds. This mother came in with her two young sons. They have a stomach flu and one has a throat infection. Statistics show young children have the highest rates of ER visits for minor medical problems. And here's why. I have a family doctor, but uh, his uh, like, appointment I can't get uh, very soon. It takes too long. Few know how long it will take to see a doctor here. These folks waited six hours during their last visit. Well, nobody gives you a timeline. We haven't had a timeline, have we? No. The hospital says 90% of patients spend three and a half hours in the emergency room. No, it's, it's a waiting game when you come to an emergency. They've got lots of people to see, so we're just waiting until we can get back here. At the exact same time, many of those patients could be here at an urgent care centre where the waiting room is nearly empty. The wait to see a doctor right now is about 10 minutes and it's posted online. Okay, so this is our treatment room. Uh, this is where we do our assessments and treatment for patients who come in with acute injuries. Dr. Faiz Malam is one of the private owners of this centre. It provides public health care just minutes from the hospital. Urgent care centers can be found across the country and many are underused. Unlike an emergency room, they don't deal with life-threatening injuries or illnesses. And unlike a walk-in clinic, they do treat patients with broken bones in need of casting, along with stitches and burns. Mandeep Dami brought her boys in. I thought it's going to be, he, they're going to get better by themselves, but uh, it's, the things are not getting better. It's a familiar scene. Their wait time, just minutes. Before long, they were out the door. A scene that played out over and over again. How long did it end up taking? 15 minutes. You were in and out? In I'm here and I'm going out now. <laughs> Dr. Malam says the average time spent in the center is about 45 minutes. He feels urgent care bridges the gap between the family doctor and the emergency room. There is a cost savings to the health care system and definitely there is a time savings to the patients in the hospital who need urgent care in the hospital um, and uh, are waiting for that. He says this center sees roughly 250 patients a day, significantly easing pressure on the hospital with quick service. So why aren't more people using them? While some are run by hospitals, most urgent care centers are under private ownership. Most, if not all, of our advertising comes from uh, word of mouth from our patients. Hi, sweetheart. Back at Brampton Civic, they've streamlined services to keep patients moving as quickly as they can, and the hospital may be posting wait times online. We have to be a little bit careful with that because we don't want to deter patients from coming in when they really need to be seen. Uh, that's why we're trialing it in a couple of other uh, places right now before we bring it to the forefront. Again, you are going to feel pressure over where it's sore. But... Timing is everything when it comes to diagnosis and treatment. But in other cases, a quick visit and a big bandage are all you need. Christine Barak, CBC News, Brampton, Ontario.